I think that's what it's all about, this, this hummus toilet, that we have something which brings us closer back to nature, to where we come from, a simple way of connecting to nature, not a complicated one, not, not a technical one. And uh, ever since I learned about it, I was so fascinated, I was so taken by the fact that it's uh, I can do it. Um, I don't need electricity. I don't need power. I don't need water. You know, it's humble and nature takes care of the shit. So it's so simple. It's beautiful. No smell. If it's done properly, if people <laughs> do it with a little bit of discipline then and know what to do it as a certain technique how to do it then it is a very very pleasant way of getting rid of our human waste and yeah the urine is a problem it's always a problem the urine too much urine in in the soil makes the soil sour makes uh, the natural composing uh, decomposing a little bit um, more complicated so in the humus toilet we have the the basic principle of an aerobic um, decomposition composting process air from the top and air from the bottom so we've got holes in the bucket and the soil on top and we shed on the soil and cover the soil so the whole system is constantly exposed to air and, and the air helps for a more rapid uh, breaking down of the solids and uh, and the toilet toilet paper in New Zealand climate after three months there's nothing left but nice soil and the soil itself becomes very yeah like like gardening soil you know that's this, this stuff has gone through the process a few times. So in other words, we can recycle this system. This system uh, just creates wonderful soil, but we can use it again. It, it's all broken down and, and um, you can put it in the garden, but we use it again in the toilet. It saves us from getting more uh, and fresh humus all the time to cover our shit. Three months is enough of um, giving it a rest and when we look at the way we give it a rest we use two buckets. One bucket is in use and the other bucket is having a rest like this one. And uh, this bucket will rest for about three months and, 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 and will be completely uh, decomposed. It's no smell, there's no flies. Once it's covered with soil, the bacteria take their natural course and take care of our solids in a, in a, in a natural way. So this rests here, sits under the bench for three months and after that time it, it looks like that. After three months it's, it's just um, broken down soil and and it's uh, gardening soil basically. There's another bucket here, same procedure. Um, you know, it just um, <clears throat> illustrates to you how how this process works and how simple it is. So you don't have to always bring in fresh soil if you're taking care of the soil as it decomposes and creates humus which can be used again. I think the, the, the basic thing is really the basic, basic questions are how to set it up and we will explain that I will explain that in a in a simple way how to set up a humus toilet which which everybody can have uh, a low cost, you only invest in a few buckets, the little garden shovel, and, and then maybe a, a suitable building. Well, you know, some people have it in the, in the open. You can have it 
in the open under a tree with, with a cover maybe just a little roof a lean-to you can have it in a shed some people have it in the house my friend Hundertwasser had it in his apartment in Vienna and there was no smell that's where I learned about the humus toilet so there was no smell and no flies that's the main thing so don't be afraid oh humus toilet smell dirty no 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 it's a very aesthetic beautiful process of getting rid of our solids and the urine and the urine is absorbed in the soil sometimes there's a bit, little bit of excess um, urine particularly if women um, use the toilet men can go outside under a tree <laughs> a bit more difficult for women but with this toilet I show you here there's, it's got um, um, a very simple way to take care of the urine so we 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 made a very simple uh, toilet seat here. You can have uh, any fancy toilet seat you like. This the system is very simple, as simple as possible. I can lift it up, and I have uh, the bucket here with the holes in the bottom. As said, as uh, as I said before, it makes it makes it an aerobic system. And you see here in the ground a, a hole, and um, the bucket sits in those little wedges on those little blocks in that hole. It can be turned if it's necessary. And then I just um, <coughs> fold down the toilet seat. This one is secured with two little wedges here. And then we, the, we start the process by putting in our soil and again that is already um, material we used a few times in that process and it's completely decomposed so you cover the ground of your toilet do that sparingly and, and completely so make sure that um, <clears throat> the whole bottom of your big bucket is covered here like this now the toilet is ready to be used and uh, <clears throat> that is then the process which is very simple we, we do our business um, the toilet paper is used and and goes into you know into the toilet after we did our business and then we will have a bit of a uh, a situation which needs a little tidying up in in terms of making this toilet work in a clean and aesthetic way and stop the flies from getting at the shit we have to cover toilet paper and shit completely with soil so with a shovel you just push your your new your paper toilet paper together so it's not spread all over the place and then you take your bucket and just cover your product and cover it completely so no white of the toilet paper will show here we go that's all you have to do um, now it's sealed in 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 humus in in, in active soil in in, in, a, in a very healthy um, <coughs> active humus environment you close your lid and um, it's ready to be used for the next person for you on the next morning and um, that's all.